before we get started, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell. Today we're going to make a Bendy and the Ink Machine clock. Sort of like the clock in Chapter 3. This is a Kit Kat clock. It was first introduced in the 1930s and is still in production today. They say they sell one every three minutes. That's amazing. The Kit Kat Creed is put a smile on everyone's face, love in everyone's heart, energy in everyone's body, and be a positive force in everyone's life. That is so sweet. Let's open it up. There he is. There's our guy. This clock is so cool looking. But we're going to have to take it apart to customize it. I remove the eyes. And the bow tie in front. And now before we go any further, here is a screenshot of the bendy clock in chapter 3. The bendy clock has moving legs and arms, but our custom clock is going to be a little bit different with stationary arms and eyes that move. But it's going to be close enough. Also, as you can see, bendy does not have a tail, but the Kit Kat clock does. So we're going to replace the cat tail with bendy's legs, which we will be making. Okay, let's get to it. First, I painted most of the face white. I painted the front paws white for gloves. And I painted the eyes black with a white triangle for Bindi's Pac-Man shaped eyes. I drew legs for Bindi on some black poster board. Then I cut them out and painted them black so they would have a satin finish. I painted the white claws on the bottom feet black. And I used black paint around the eyes to try to make them appear more oval shaped. Then I painted on Bindi's toothy grin. black dots to the gloves and to attach the pendulum legs I used black electrical tape. I put the eyes back in place and that's it. Now we have a Bindi and the Ink Machine pendulum clock. Today we're going to try out this new instant slimy gloop. I saw this at Walmart and I was like, I've got to try it. It was really inexpensive and it's supposed to be mess free, three easy steps, bada boom, bada bing, and you've got slime. Let's see if this actually works. To test these out, I bought galactic slime, classic green slime, and mystical slime. Let's start with galactic slime. It says make instantly in three easy steps. So you're supposed to add the activator for step one. Step two is to add the instant slimy glue solution. And three is you get this wonderful ooey gooey slime. 
All right, let's do this. Let's get a bowl. Got a bowl. This is supposed to be super easy. All you do, oh, there is a bowl. <laughs> That's the bowl. I feel like this isn't big enough. So we're still gonna go ahead and use this one. So we're supposed to start with the activator. And now we'll add the slime solution. Okay, let's mix it up. Oh, it's kind of mixing. Maybe we did too much at once. Kind of looks done, kind of doesn't. And there's a lot of activator left in this bowl. Uh, yeah, it's not done. <laughs> It looks really stringy. Maybe it just needs to be mixed a lot. As you can see, it's pretty thick. I kind of like it. I don't know if I use too much activator, although I did follow the instructions. It says no measuring, but look how thick it is. It's kind of, it's kind of awesome. Okay, here's one. I don't think this little container would have held it very well. Do, 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 do. Let's try the instant green slime. This time I'm going to do the opposite of what they said to do. I'm gonna add the solution first because really whenever I make slime, I start with the glue and I add the activator second. Let's see if it turns out better this way. We'll add just a little bit of activator to start with. just a little bit more. Oh, that's still pretty, pretty goopy. So we need more solution. Whoop, got everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why, but it seems to be kind of more stringy than we use a home recipe. Let's add a little more activator because it's still very sticky. It seems to be just like the other one. Actually, this one might be a little bit better. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, look, you can stretch it thinner. Okay, I think this one turned out better. What do you guys think? It stretches more. Oh, look at that stretch. I only used about a third of the activator for this one and it seemed to work just as good. So now I have all this activator left over that I can use on other slimes. Now time for the mystical slime. I'm gonna put this one in first because I feel like the slime turns out better. So here we go. Oh my gosh, that is so glittery. Look at that, that is just glittery. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Let's 
So I'm gonna do it. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. So gorgeous. I wish I had a dress made out of this. I'm gonna add a tiny drop right there. Let's see if it changes things if we add it just a little bit at a time. I feel like this needs way more activator. Okay, now it's starting to feel like slime finally. And I used almost the whole bottle of activator. It's still kind of sticky. Look at that, I wonder why. This is way too sticky. I'm gonna use the other one that I didn't use as much. And just pour that in there, my goodness. It shouldn't be this sticky still. This slime required so much activator, but I feel like it's finally slime. Oh yeah, it's sticking together now, finally. But I had to use a lot of the activator from the other package and all of the activator from this package. But it was worth it. Look how beautiful that is. Like it still has a little bit of stickiness to it. I think this one turned out smoother. Yeah, this one turned out a lot smoother. Oh, that's pretty. I love this slime, it's so pretty. out the best and that was by slowly putting the activator in however I needed a lot more so I don't know if it was because I put it in so slowly or because it just is a different kind of slime because it's glittery so this is the blue slime the galaxy slime it's actually pretty good now that it's been sitting for a while and I guess the ingredients just needed to soak into each other but look at how good this looks Still pretty thick. It's not really what I'd call slime, as much as I would call it maybe a thick putty. I love it though, look at that. Look at that. You can stretch it pretty big. You guys, ah! That is huge! Look at this slime! Oh, I love it! Here's the green slime and this slime we made a little bit differently. Oh, I love this slime. It's really, really stretchy. Oh, it's so fun. Ah! Oh, it's so fun to play with. This is really good slime, guys. I think it was like three bucks. This is just like the best slime. I'm so loving this. And it was made instantly. That is so cool. Okay, this one is my absolute favorite because it is so sparkly. This slime is so pretty. I love it. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at how 
stretchy it is. It stretches for days. I think this one turned out the best and I think it's because I mixed the ingredients slowly. So let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time. Have a great day.